Hey, I'm Arielle, founder of Wisdom of the Womb. Quite a few of you reached out saying you want to be sure you're drinking your teas appropriately and properly. So I wanted to tell you how to cycle with the teas that are in the two month supply of fertility teas. So you'll start with the detox tea. And I recommend that you don't even think about the other teas and drink the detox tea for a full month if you're able to. You could do two to three cups a day and that is kind of the case for all of the teas. Two to three cups is the recommended amount that you should drink during whatever phase of the cycle you're in. So start with a detox tea. If you're right about to get your period when you get your package of teas, then consider drinking the detox tea until your next period is due. If you tend to get a lot of cramping during your period, then you can actually consider switching to the Bitches Brew Tea about five to seven days before your next period is set to begin. And that's if you have endometriosis or a significant amount of pain with your period, uh, five to seven days before, switch to the Bitches Brew Tea before you're about to bleed. And that could help with the pain of your cycle. So the Bitches Brew Tea is the tea that you drink during the blood phase. And if you don't have any pain or cramping or just like a little bit, then you can certainly just drink the detox tea up until the day you start bleeding and then switch to the bitches brew and drink the bitches brew during the whole time that you're bleeding. Again, you can start a few days before if you do have pain. So you'll have to play with what works for you a little bit. I'm going to go based on like a 28 day cycle. So I'm going to split them in half, right? Around 14 days ovulation. But if you know that if you ovulate really late, you'll want to kind of factor that in. And if you ovulate early, factor that in. If you have a much longer cycle, just play with it a little bit. There's no wrong way to drink the teas. Just know that no matter what you do, you're not doing it wrong. You're not gonna injure your body or damage yourself. So these teas are made to be adjusted. And most of all, I want you to feel what's happening in your body when you're drinking them and trust that you'll know if something is not right for you or not appropriate for you. Mostly they should feel good. If you start drinking the tea and you feel like a lot of cramping, a lot of twinging, that's actually a sign that energy that was blocked is now moving. So if you start splotting and cramping, um, it's actually a sign that things are happening that should be. So all good things. If you have really short periods, you can start the Bitches Brew a few days early so that you're you're using the tea for about five days. I like for the minimum amount that pe women are using the tea to be about five days. So the Bitches Brew Tea, if you know you only bleed for three days, then you can start drinking the tea about two days before your period is due. After you're done bleeding, you can switch to the Fertile Mama, and this is great for the follicular phase. This is the time that your follicles are developing, and we really wanna nourish and nurture them, which is what the Fertile Mama does. So drink the Fertile Mama from the day you're done bleeding up until about day 12, or a day or two before you know you ovulate. If you know when you ovulate, a lot of you I know don't know when you ovulate, so around day 14 is kind of the halfway point. If you know you have really long cycles, then you might want to drink it until day 14. Again, play with it, feels what's right. I do recommend tracking your temperature, and I do have a video on my YouTube channel about how to take your basal body temperature, because that's a really great way to look at and know when you're ovulating, which is pretty important for conception. So, drink the Fertile Mama Tea up until about a day or two before you're set to ovulate, and then you wanna to switch to the Fertile Moon Tea, which is really kind of invigorating. It helps the liver kind of process through all of it so that you have a lot of energy and you get that burst of chi or energy that your body needs to, to release the egg, right? You need that burst of energy in order to ovulate. So the Fertile Moon Tea is great for that. And I recommend drinking it from about day 12 or 13 to 16, 17, again, depending on when you ovulate. It also helps your body move move the egg through the fallopian tube once it's fertilized. So it's great to kind of keep that energy moving. The womb warming tea is great to start drinking a few days after ovulation or after you know you've ovulated. It helps support progesterone. It helps warm the uterus so that you have that cozy uterus that your fertilized egg wants to kind of burrow into. But the womb warming tea really helps with um, encouraging progesterone, which is really important for the luteal phase. So for each of those teas, you can do two to three cups a day, but I don't recommend doing like 
all the teas all at once. A lot of women want to do it all at once and it's not better. Like doing more in one day is not better. You want to really let your body be where it is. So in the blood phase, we're working on moving things down and out, releasing, letting go. During the yin phase, when our follicles are developing, we're working on nourishing yin. That's a great time to cool and rest and relax, do some yoga, take a bubble bath. Around the chi phase, we're working on moving energy. It's like the wood time of like the spring and rebirth. So we could do like a brisk walk. It's a great time to get your body moving, do some gentle exercise. And during the yang phase, post ovulation, we're really warming your body. So in the womb warming tea, it's all like chai type herbs, like ginger and cloves, you're really warming. So think about the fire element and also, that's a really good time to dance and move and just feel some joy in your body. That connects your heart energy to your kidneys, which is so important for womb health. So hopefully that was helpful for you and how to cycle with the fertility teas. And it's such an honor to support you in your journey. Bye.